So I've been working with a graphic designer to update my channel art and my logo. Uh, I want, I mean, we're a small channel right now, but I want to be a big channel one day. Um, I don't want small things like my channel art to make me look like I'm an amateur. Um, I am an amateur, but I don't want to be that forever. So I'm taking the steps to make the channel better. Um, but I've been talking to the guy and he really is into riding streets. Uh, he doesn't personally own a bike. So we were talking about what he's looking for and he wanted a 20 inch bike to ride street with. And so I started looking for him and I found him an awesome bike. Uh, this is a um, Haro Back Trail 3. Uh, it's actually a Ride Nyquist edition, which those who don't know who he is, um, if you remember the Dave Mira game, he was on it. He was on the same team with Dave Mira for uh, uh, the X Games, uh, riding for both of them, Road for Haro. Um, it, it basically, Haro became so popular because of them and because of that video game. So when you go to look for used uh, 20 inches, you see tons of these old Haro uh, dirt jumpers and BMX bikes, you know, steel frame, really tough good bikes for learning to do tricks on. Uh, and that's what this is. It's a great bike to learn tricks on. It was very inexpensive. Um, I, I sent the link over to him and he picked it up and had him drop it off so I can do some upgrading on it. So already it has decent cranks. It has a really good chain. The bearings are outstanding. Um, earlier I, I did this and it literally did it for five minutes. It didn't stop. Uh, that's awesome for a bike that is probably from the late nineties. So really cool how good a shape it is in. Um, it's gonna be an awesome bike. So after talking to him, he is, really wanted to have a Samus theme, um, the video game Metroid, uh, which is a yellow, orange, and red theme. So we already have the yellow. I have some new orange components coming in that we're gonna put on this bike uh, just to give it that pop. And then we're gonna have a little bit of red in there just to, to finish it off. And uh, we're not doing much this bike. It's mainly gonna be just a uh, once over to make sure everything's working good on it. Um, update the riding surfaces, I mean the contact surfaces on it. Um, I mean, the, it needs a new seat, it needs new pedals, definitely needs a new grips. These are like falling apart, um, but everything else works great. So we're not gonna do much to it. We're just gonna do the basics, uh, clean it up and get it back to them. So I'm working on editing this video. Um, I want to apologize. I sound like a complete asthmatic this whole video. This is the first video I use a lavalier mic. Um, obviously, I don't have a set right. Just want to apologize ahead. I'm hoping I can take out a lot of the sound in post. Do apologize ahead of time. Hope you enjoy the video. so nice working with a bike with good parts. There's not even any rust underneath the bars, which is great. I already got that one off. So there we go. Now let's do something about the seat. So the seat I would love to keep because it's an old uh, classic Haro seat, but uh, it's ripped, so we're just gonna remove it and put on that orange seat. Yeah, not even any rust on this, and these are steel parts. Love working with good bikes. You'll need an app for me to help with that. Try some. All right. Man, I wish I could keep that seat. Look how cool that is. If it wasn't for that one rip. Gotta tighten it. Oh, 
There we go. The only rust on the whole bike. Yeah. We'll do something about that. Nothing a little WD-40 can fix. So I don't want to damage the paint. I do want to get the rust off. What are you laughing about? Good as new. All right, there's some rust in there. That's actually where the rust came from. Just oil that up. Let's put some grease in there. Because obviously, this sucker did not have any grease in it before. Because this wouldn't have happened if it did. Looks like a, a smurf. It's all good to go. Let's do something about these pedals now. I mean, honestly, there's nothing really wrong with them. The, uh, the pegs are not too bad. Not worn down too bad, but we're gonna go ahead and do it just because. Ooh. Yeah, these are actually the stock pedals that came on the bike. And once again, I know that because they came on my Haro SR24. This actually is, it's, it's really cool with this bike. The, um, the pedals, the crank, this is the same exact uh, chain ring. All is what came on my bike when I bought my SR24 forever ago. Always use lube. Find the holes hard sometimes. Get better with practice. All right. Let's, before I put the grips on, let's go ahead and clean the bike up first. Um, because I don't want any of my cleaning stuff to get underneath the grips and mess that up. So. All right, it's nice and clean now. Let's get these grips on. So I'm doing the old BMX trick, hairspray. Which works surprisingly well. I'm gonna put on the original Haro bar ends, just cause they're in great shape. And they're kind of cool. Plus, they're much nicer than the plastic ones that came with the grips. Use a little decreaser on the grips, get the gunk that I just put on them off. And that way they look brand new. All right. Last thing we're gonna do is we need to adjust the chain. It just has too much slop in it, so we're just gonna tighten that up. Previous, I'm gonna put one of these um, chain tensors on there. Which is nice. So you just gotta loosen it and you just tighten this bolt and it'll tighten the chain right up. I used to run two of them, that way I could keep the um, wheel straight with the two. Because with a single speed, you have to worry about. wheel alignment as well. All right. 
All right, we didn't have to do too much to it. Um, mainly just cleaning and just some uh, basic maintenance. I still need oil and chain for them, but other than that, the bike is ready to go. Um, I really can't wait till he gets his red tires and his red, red bars on here, because this bike is awesome. So there's one more thing we have to do that we do to all our bikes, and that is putting the trailhead sticker on it, and then we're good to go. All right, normally I'd like to put the sticker right here, but there's really no place to put it there. So we're gonna put the trailhead sticker right here. This is a hard placement. It's probably why there's no uh, existing shop sticker on here. Almost always is one from the shop you buy the bike from.